Kate embraces quintessential royal style in Denmark for a smart gray Catherine Walker coat dress. Kate Middleton cemented her status as a future queen today with a high-profile meeting with the current and future monarchs of Denmark, Queen Margaret II and Crown Princess Mary, who officially welcomed her to Copenhagen on day two of her working visit. The Duchess of Cambridge embarked on the second day of her whirlwind two-day solo visit to Denmark to promote her work in early childhood development. The mother of three cut an elegant figure as she met with her two fellow royals at Christian IV's palace, opting for a long-line grey Catherine Walker coat dress estimated to cost in the region of £3,000. While Kate has many double-breasted coats in her wardrobe, this one sported starker features than we've seen her opting for before, with super sharp shoulders being the real highlight along with the dramatic contrast on the black sharp lapels and the sleeve cuffs. Kate Middleton embarked on a solo tour of Denmark, looking as regal as one would expect. The Duchess of Cambridge embraced one of her signature silhouettes for the second half of her last day, a double-breasted, knee-length gray coat dress by Couture House Catherine Walker. Middleton accessorized her look with a black mulberry bag, stylish leather gloves, Giambito Rossi pointed toe pumps, and pearls. Though the coat dress has almost become synonymous with Middleton, this particular outfit seems like a nod to her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana. Indeed, Middleton's silhouette is one that Princess Diana embraced over a decade ago. Many will recall the gray herringbone and velvet collar coat the Princess of Wales wore to the Barnabas Children's Charity in 2008. Lady D styled it as a midi dress, layering it over a crisp white button-down shirt for a chic finish. Middleton's admiration of her late mother-in-law is clear, as she wore a similar Diana-inspired look for her meeting with Queen Margaret and Princess Mary. She also paid homage to Diana's legacy when she wore the princess's jewels to capture her 40th birthday portrait. The coat dress is a style Middleton wears often. On a visit to the Royal Opera House in 2019, she opted for a purple Oscar de la Renta coat dress. That same year in Scotland, she was spotted in a tartan Alexander McQueen coat with the Duke of Cambridge while visiting the Victorian Albert Museum. When she joined Queen Elizabeth II on a visit to King's College in London, she sported a belted Catherine Walker gray coat dress, and the list goes on. A timeless coat dress is Middleton's secret to looking polished and regal. The event was at Christian IV's palace at Amelienborg. The meeting is not only a reminder of the long-standing relationship between the two royal families, but it also coincides with the respective platinum and golden jubilees being celebrated this year. Margaret is marking 50 years on the throne, while Queen Elizabeth is being honored for 70 years on the throne. After the trio met, Kate and Mary departed for a private lunch. They walked across the Emilienborg courtyard to Frederick VII's palace, where Mary and her husband, Prince Frederick, lived with their four children. Kate and Mary have met on previous occasions, including at Royal Ascot in 2016 and on William and Kate's joint visit to the Danish capital in 2011. The Duchess will also learn about how Denmark promotes infant mental well-being alongside physical health and how it harnesses the power of nature, relationships, and playful learning in the first five years of life. Later, they will visit a project supported by the Mary Foundation, founded in 2007 by the Crown Princess, to protect vulnerable women and children from domestic violence.